Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am reviewing for you the Ulla Enriksen Transform Dewtopia 5% Acid Firming Night Cream, which looks like this. Ulla Enriksen very kindly sent this over as part of PR a few months ago, and I am not getting paid to share my thoughts or opinions with you all today. If you are new here, my name is Nadia, and I'm a licensed esthetician who loves to test and review skincare products. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you have yet to subscribe, and be sure to hit that notification bell so that you are notified whenever there's a brand new upload. Ula Enriksen describes this as a powerful retexturizing night cream with 5% AHAs and Idolvice stem cell that deeply hydrates, retexturizes, evens tone, and visibly reduces the appearance of fine lines wrinkles, and dark spots. You can find this at Sephora, ulaenriksen.com. It will be linked for you down below. And a 1.7 ounce unit or 50 ml retails for $60. Ula Enriksen suggests that you use this at night in an upward circular motion. Because it contains AHAs, Ula suggests that you perform a patch test before use, especially if you have sensitive skin or if you plan on layering this over actives such as vitamin C and retinol. As usual, make sure that you wear your SPF daily, rain or shine. This moisturizer contains some of the best ingredients available. It's full of exfoliating, anti-aging, hydrating, and skin soothing ingredients such as shea butter, glycolic acid, lactic acid, bacuchiol, just to name a few. Glycolic acid and AHA here chemically exfoliates the skin, helps to renew the skin surface, which also allows for the improvement in the signs of aging, including sun damage, uneven tone, rough, flaky, bumpy skin, fine lines, and wrinkles. We also see lactic acid which chemically exfoliates the skin at the surface level breaking down the materials that hold dead skin together. I love that lactic acid also has hydrating properties. It also strengthens the skin's barrier as it encourages to make more ceramides. Lactic acid also helps to promote a brighter more even tone. Bicuchiol and antioxidant also offers um, the skin a number of benefits. It's an anti-ager, it helps to reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, and it helps to fade the appearance of skin discoloration, including post-inflammation hyperpigmentation. Another antioxidant found here is licorice root extract, a skin soother that also helps to improve the skin's tone. I began using this on January 28th. I used it over the Glow Recipe Plum Plump Hydrating Serum. I will link my review to that up above in case you are looking for a hydrating serum. I had used Tretinoin the night before and I wanted to take it easy while also trying something new. I did not experience a tingle at all. I felt that the moisturizer um, glides over the skin easily. I could slightly massage this over the skin, but nowhere near as the type of massage that I got or can get with um, Strength Trainer, also by Ulla Enriksen, which looks like this. This was one of my favorite moisturizers of 2022, so I will link my review to that up above as well in case you are looking for something a little bit more anti-aging minus that chemical exfoliation. On this night, I also noted that the firming cream was not sticky at all. I could slightly smell um, the familiar scent of, of the Ulla Enriksen Transform range. I do not dislike the scent. I actually kind of like it. Um, I did not apply an oil over top this moisturizer on that particular night. 
on the next day, my skin woke up with a natural glow, slightly smoother even though we are at a 5% AHA. Skin felt balanced, plumper, and slightly smoother. I would recommend this to those who are just starting to dip their toes into AHAs and want to take a conservative approach. This kind of reminds me of Caudalie's Vino Perfect brightening glycolic night cream except this is definitely on the lighter side and not, and not as thick or rich as that particular moisturizer. Um, that was one of the very first product reviews I uploaded here on my channel about six years ago. On February 4th my skin woke up smoother and plumper after overnight use. It felt hydrated and I did apply this under the Alpha H oil, uh, the Golden Haze oil. I will link my review to that oil up above for you. Also, you should know that the Alpha H oil is now the best face oil of 2023 by Wardrobe Icons Beauty Awards. Um, again, I will link that review up above. It is still one of my favorite oils to use. In case you are looking for an outstanding facial oil. Again, still obsessed with it. On February 6th, I noted that I felt a slight tingle. Personally, I felt that this moisturizer exfoliated my skin, much better than the Good Molecules Exfoliating Serum. Review will be linked up above. That is very gentle it, and it almost felt like water now that I think about it and, you know, go back in my mind and compare it to products that I have used currently. I continue to use this over the Hydrating Serum and I also paired it with the Ceramide Serum also by uh, Glow Recipe. This gives me a very light natural glow to the skin. My normal skin did not wake up looking incredibly luminous overnight um, with the glowy look that I, I typically love and crave. Um, I can get that glow by using the Drunk Elephant TLC Framboos, Honeymoon Glow by Pharmacy, or the Summer Fridays um, Acid Blend. It does, however, wake up feeling smoother slightly smoother. I have noticed some lightening of post-inflammation hyperpigmentation um, above my brow and that has been bothering me for weeks. Um, as I age, I find that post-inflammation hyperpigmentation and redness just heals a lot slower, um, but this has sped up it's healing. Throughout this test, I did avoid all of my other acid blends such as Pharmacy, Honeymoon Glow, and TLC Framboos just so that I could clearly gauge the level of exfoliation and smoothness. And I can tell you just by looking back now that this definitely exfoliated my skin it being a moisturizer so much better than the Good Molecules Serum. I did go on holiday uh, week one and week two of March and I had to pack light so I did not take this with me. I did however revisit this on March 13th um, and I did feel a tingle upon application. And I did still apply my Glow Recipe Hydrating Serum um, under this. My skin felt slightly tacky and sticky when used alone without a facial oil. This still felt sticky, slightly tacky, after it being on my skin for two hours. It did slightly go away, but not completely. So if you are sensitive to sticky, or tacky products, this may not be for you. I've used a number of acid blend serums throughout my life and moisturizers. I've got to say that I do prefer serums, however, because they are more potent. However, since I am trying to incorporate the use of tretinoin 
a lot more than just one time per week. This has allowed me to get that chemical exfoliation without having to use an acid blend serum with a higher active ingredient percentage. So I also layered this over a hyaluronic acid based serum which made the actives in this moisturizer work a lot harder. Um, I also tried this on its own on a lazy nighttime skincare routine and I did still manage to feel a difference on my skin's texture the next day. You may also layer this over Ula Enriksen's serums such as uh, Dewtopia 20% Acid Night Treatment, Banana Bright Vitamin C Serum, and their Glow 2O Dark Spot Toner. Ula suggests that you do perform a patch test to avoid sensitizing or irritating your skin when combining those actives. I did not try any of those serums under this moisturizer because I sadly gifted all of my Ula goodies during the holidays and I didn't have any left. Um, but I do still have reviews on them, so I will link my review to the Dutopia Serum up above. That was a true gem, a favorite of mine, so much so that I emptied that serum so quickly. So I will link my Dutopia video up above for you. From using this about two to four times a week, I noticed balanced, plumper, slightly smoother skin with a natural glow. I did not experience any redness, irritation, or purging from using this product. I am an advanced skincare user who has gotten a number of advanced uh, skincare treatments such as hydrofacials and chemical peels just so that you are kind of aware of, of what my skin has been through. I did use this while using tretinoin on separate nights and over a hyaluronic acid serum and this worked very nicely. I did not use this during the day so I only use this at night but I did make sure to apply my SPF the next day. This worked beautifully with the Alpha H Golden Haze Face Oil and the Drunk Elephant uh, Marula Facial Oil. No complaints. I do think however that I massaged my skin with the moisturizer and I just patted the oil on to the skin to avoid pilling or flaking. My favorite way to use this was of course at night. I would remove my makeup with the Elemis Makeup Balm, go in with the Paula's Choice Gentle Cleanser. I would use the Drunk Elephant Facial Mist, go in with the Glow Recipe Plump Plump Serum. Um, I would use my eye products. Then I would go in with a very generous layer of the Ula Enriksen Dewtopia 5% Acid Firming Night Cream and then I would top everything off with the Alpha H Golden Haze Face Oil. I would recommend this to anyone who is starting their, their acid or their skincare journey who is looking for a gentle approach to acids or anyone who wants to take a break from products with a high percentage of acids or anyone who like me is wanting to use tretinoin more than once a week but still wants that chemical exfoliation two to three times a week. I love that this is gentle, non-drying, non-irritating. Do perform a patch test, however, if you lean on the sensitive side. I like some of the ingredients here, such as glycolic acid, lactic acid, bacuchiol. There are a lot of ingredients here that are anti-aging that also aid the skin with hyperpigmentation. I like the price point. A moisturizer like this could last you anywhere between three to four months, costing you about $20 to $15 per month. My cons. Um, this does contain over a handful of pore, sensitizing, irritating ingredients such as perfume, fragrance, limonene, linalool, and extracts often found in other skincare products. So I don't personally react to those negatively, but if you do, 
please perform a patch test. This is also packaged in a jar, which I don't typically mind of moisturizers that are packaged in a jar. However, this contains AHAs, whose integrity I want to protect at all costs. I want any product containing AHAs to come in an airtight jar or a bottle with a pump. I am rating this an 8 out of 10. I am deducting a point for the fragrance, half a point for it being in a jar, as I do prefer my exfoliating products to be in an airless jar or in a pump. I also am deducting half a point for the seven pore slash irritating ingredients here. Typically, I'd reduce points if I found a product did not exfoliate my skin enough. I found this to fit right into my routine nicely. It exfoliated my skin gently enough for me to notice a textural difference with each use and it also helped to promote an even tone. As far as the firming effects, I'm not sure if I if I really you know, kept a lookout for those. Let me know if you have used this product by Ulla Enriksen in the comments down below. What were your results? Would you recommend this to others? Let's discuss down below. Thank you all so much for watching, for spending some time with me today. Be sure to subscribe to my channel before you leave and be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed today's video. It really helps the algorithm them here and I will see you all in my next video. Bye. I be so orange again. Apply my glow and acid blend. Ticky slightly tap. I love that this contains over eight hand no, I don't love this. 